I think yeah. in talking to Meth, you know, he's an artist. Right. But he's an intelligent artist. Right. You know, but I, I think because of the fact that a lot of people can make money off him, they tend to think that by them taking care of certain things, that they making his life easier. Mm. But in actuality, because he always has to untie the knots, yeah. because people are, when people try to make money off you, it's their agenda. You know, they making you do things so that you can make them money. Mm. So you never really know exactly if the agenda is pure. So the best way to cut that out is to do it yourself, or at least know it. Like, like as a businessman, see, I'm an administrator first, and then I became a creator. But as a business businessman, I know that if I open any business and I don't run the cash register, mm -hmm. I'm getting robbed. Period. I gotta know every single mm -hmm. person's job because once they know I don't know, they're gonna start overcharging me. Everybody, every like nobody does nothing for free. Nobody does anything for love. Mm -hmm. No one's doing anything because they like you. If someone making money off you, of course they're gonna act nice to you every day and be your best friend. Mm -hmm. That's what they job. They're not gonna not be nice to you. They making money off you. Right. But you know, that's how come it's kinda hard to really ever understand someone's agenda unless you really know the game. See, you're an artist, but you're a professional artist. Right. See, an artist that's not professional is doesn't get judged, but he doesn't get paid. Mm. He puts it out when he feels like it. He doesn't put it out at all sometimes. But you're a professional, you get paid a lot of money. So, and the reason why is because you gotta be fearless. You gotta put your shit out, get judged, and make money off it. So that means you gotta take the scrutiny and judgment, but it's also somewhat your responsibility to know your business. So you don't get robbed, and you hustling for no reasons, or you hustling so someone else can make paper off you. But also you gotta remember, you in a good fucked up position. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna tell good. you why. After position. I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, I know this you don't curse, huh? <laughs> I don't uh, care. Uh, uh, because when you made it was when I made it. No internet. It was a completely different business model. Right, so, yes, sir. This is 20 years ago. But now it's a completely different hustle. Yeah. So your perspective has to change. But the good part about the fucked up part about that is. You still just as crispy as a young nigga, but you a legend. Mm -hmm. So that means you really could cut out the middleman completely because you, when you're a new artist, you need a middleman to build your brand. Right. That's why they deserve to get a piece of it in their mind. But you already built your brand. So why do people deserve to get any part of it? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And then your margin is better. And then let's say you do fuck up, you happy because you fucked up. You're not even mad. You're not mad if you fuck up. You yeah. ever, right? No. How many times you fucked up? You and you don't be really mad at yourself. You be like, alright, whatever. Yeah, for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But let's say some, but look, if somebody else fucked your shit up, you be like, oh man, that shit make it extra better. And it's over some paper that you could have gave your family on that? Yeah. Because of someone's ego or their agenda? Mm -hmm. Nah. But at this point in time, it's a new business model, so your perspective has to approach it completely different. Well, yeah, it's a completely different, it's like you can't be Rumpelstiltskin about it just because you made it in a heart. Like you made it with most niggas don't. Right. So that's what made you a legend. We made it in a time where the old, see, what you gotta remember, or what you have to understand as an artist, you can make money. In these days, you, an artist can make money. But yeah. the difference between now and then is the only way a person can make money off an artist right now is to rob them. Dang. That's the only way. An artist can make money. But the only way you can monetize an artist, because you got to think, you get a percentage of his percentage. Yeah. So you robbing him. You taking money out of his pocket. Yeah. And he don't need you. you can, all you got to do is get a booking agent. You don't need a manager to book shows. No disrespect to no management. But you don't need that, you need a booking agent. After you hot, a booking agent just, all he has to do is take the offers and solicit it and collect your dough for you. Once your brand is That's 10% right there, that's so it. Go ahead and get out saying, of here. All you need is the booking agent. But even with the promoters, or not promoters, the people that are actually paying for the shows, you gotta also think whatever they paying you, they making twice to three times that money. Who cares? Um, I'll, I'll count other people's money. Who cares what they doing? They putting up the money. As long as they, if you can pay the fee, if that's the case, go be the promoter, but who wants to do that? I could make my bed, but I don't. 
James Brown. You understand what I'm saying? Jay, but it's, my, my point is, you know, he is, you have to want that life. Like, you don't want to be a businessman doing cut, counting money, waiting, and then performing like, and you know what you're good at. And that's so how let them pick the yeah, so. game and shit. Like, I'm, like you said, I have no idea what the best for. And I think you gotta do it yourself. Yeah. You just gotta know it yourself. You gotta know it, and then you can hire people to do it. But you get shit on cruise control, man. Like, all you gotta do is put a record out and then tour. You gonna get the white people, the black people, you get everybody. You get old, young. Your shit, you know, you know, I know, but we got the same brand. You understand? Like we, so we know what we had to do to get where we had to go. But right now, it ain't like that. It's no mixtapes, no mixtapes, nothing like that. What? Put out mixtapes. I mean, he can do whatever he wanna do. He meth. He's meth. People coming to see Meth do Meth. Paul, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, also his stage show was crazy. You know, he messed with the nigga that did it. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got his, he got his, you know what I'm saying? He got his own Mac. They ain't gonna see that. So he also giving you a good show. He's a funny nigga, he articulate, he good. Ain't a good nigga. You know, that's the thing about us, like our connection. Cause you know, we got a history. It's not like, you know, yeah, yeah, right. if we went on tour together, we did yeah. the all night life thing together. So, you know, we trusted each other to do business. And when we did business, we had fun. Cause I ain't smoke at the time, and they didn't really drink. So I used to fuck, go get them drunk, and they, they'd be the only niggas I would get high with. You got me drunk on my 29th birthday. <laughs> 29th birthday. Oh shit, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I did the diary of nothing, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But now we both smoke, so now this is, you know. This is a whole new level. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, my thing with like a meth for a brand like Wu-Tang, I don't need nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nothing. That shit is easy. Wu Tang, yeah. You said Wu Tang is like the YouTube hip hop. Kiss of hip hop. That brand is A1. So, period. You know what I'm saying? Period. If it's not your money, you're not the boss.